I've been an iPhone user for a pretty long time now. I had the 4S, I had the 5C, and now I'm using the 6S. So when we were briefed on the HTC One A9, my immediate thoughts jumped to the fact that it looks pretty much identical to an iPhone. But credit where credit's due, HTC has managed to produce a pretty beautiful phone, so let's take a look at the differences between the A9 and the iPhone 6S. The most notable difference is the positioning of the back camera. HTC has centered the camera, whereas the iPhone camera is always off to one side. We've got a white strip at the top of the 1A9. Personally, I don't exactly like the way it breaks up the polished metal finish, but it is a point of difference from the iPhone 6S. The metal finish on the back and the sides of the A9 are quite different from each other, and this helps to define the edges of the phone a bit better. The back has a blasted metal finish, while the sides have a polished metal finish. We've also got the volume buttons and the power buttons both on the right hand side. The power button, as you can see, has a real texture to it. I quite like this touch actually. Basically, it means you can navigate your way around the phone without having to look at it. You can feel for it in your pocket, in your bag, and it also helps find the volume buttons, which are right above that textured power button. Obviously, we've got the white HTC One A9 as our review device and a black iPhone 6S to compare it to. So it's important to remember that the HTC One A9 does actually come in black, while the iPhone does come in white. So while right now the fronts look pretty dissimilar, that's not always going to be the case. So now we've seen the differences between the two phones, let's take a look at the similarities. And what more can I say than just look at them? HTC says this phone design is a sort of throwback to some of its older phones, including the Evo 4G LTE and the J Butterfly. I guess they kind of look similar, but let's not kid ourselves. When it comes down to it, neither have metal backs or the rounded corners of the A9, and neither have the banding on the back of the phone, which is identical to the iPhone. So while there are some key differences between the phones, and there are some standout features on the One A9, they really do look like they were made by the same manufacturer. Where the One A9 does stand out just slightly from the iPhone success is its price point. If you're in the US, you can pick one up for $399, but if you're in the UK, it's slightly less appealing at £429. That's compared to the 64GB iPhone 6S, which retails for £619. Yes, the One A9 only has 16GB of onboard memory, but it does have that SD slot in there, which theoretically could hold up to two terabytes of memory if they ever made such a big card. Otherwise, you can pick up a 64 gigabyte SD card for around 15 pounds, so that's not bad. At the end of the day, the One A9 is an impressive phone. It's got that metal body, it's running Marshmallow, Google's latest software, and if you're in the US, it's got that attractive price point. But there's no getting around the fact that it does look like an iPhone. Thanks for watching, and don't forget you can still enter to win a brand new Bluetooth speaker. All the details are in the link below. And make sure you hit that subscribe button as well, and that's how you can stay on top of everything we do.